Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other. All right, so before we start with today's discussion, please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures. Okay, talking about the NSE futures, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc., with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital, that is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me. Right. So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. Hey guys, a very good evening. I hope every one of you might be having a really good time with your friends and family. So without interrupting much on a holiday, let me go ahead with this quick video wherein I would like to share two stocks on which you can have a bullish eye and they can be traded in the upcoming days as explained in the video. Okay, so let's get on to the chart and let me bring it in here. Okay, so the two stocks that I'm talking about are PVR and HAL. Okay, let's take it up with PVR first. Okay, let me bring in the pencil here. Okay, so the moment you see this chart, this is a one day chart of PVR. Okay, so the moment you see this chart, it is very much eminent that PVR was in a consolidation phase for a long, long time. Right, this phase was an absolute consolidation phase. Okay, and post this phase, it gave a breakout in an upward direction and it flew up. I mean, that is something which is expected because this guy has, uh, this guy actually tried breaking the resistances a lot many number of times. Like for example, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth attempt, it is the case when it started moving up. Okay, so the more number of times a particular resistance is being uh, attempted to be broken, the more stronger the move becomes, right? So that is the exact thing that happened here. It tried breaching the resistance for, uh, tried for almost four times. And on the fifth time, when it broke the resistance, it flew up. Okay, now, after it went up, it came down the same way. It did not take much time to come down. Okay, now what's happening on the chart is the green zone that you see here and here they are the resistance and the support zones. Okay, now let's talk about this zone here. Okay, now this particular stock is at this level, right? It is a kind of a zone that we have. And if we talk about this consolidation phase, that consolidation phase was is also aligning with the current zone that we have here. So it is a kind of confluence zone that has been created, an area of confluence, 
okay now the people for whom uh, the people who don't know what exactly is an area of confluence i have recently made a video uh, like maybe you can scroll back to three to four videos earlier and you will find a video uh, which explains about the area of confluence so if you are interested to know what exactly is an area of confluence please go ahead and watch that video okay now getting back to the topic so this phase right now in which uh, pvr is trading in is actually uh, is act actually in an area of confluence okay now when we get an area of confluence we can anticipate that the stock can easily go up and that exactly is happening on the charts right now okay that is point number 1 point number 2 is when this zone was breached this black candle that you see here it it is a bearish candle and it actually closed below the zone so what does it mean it means that we have to wait for the next candle to be forming that is this green candle and depending on how it reacts we take up the trade and most importantly we have to wait for the trend line to be breached so we were not able to take any position in these candles the simple reason is first reason is it was making green candles and the second reason is when it started making red candles like, like that is here here and here these three red candles were not able to breach this particular zone and close below it they were closing inside the zone so that is the reason why it was not safe for us to go ahead and initiate a buy position and neither a sell position if at all these three candles let me delete it again and let me explain it again so if at all these three candles this one this one and this one if these three candles would have come down and closed below this zone somewhere here or somewhere here or somewhere here then we would have thought of initiating a sell trade but it never happened in all the three days it closed within the zone and whenever a closure is happening within the zone it is quite obvious that it is a no trade zone so we cannot trade that particular zone we should not be initiating any trade buy or sell trade when a particular zone is created and when a candlestick is closing within that particular zone as simple as that okay and then we see the trend line to be breaching okay now which candle breached the trend line is it this candle no this was not the candle which breached the trend line this is the candle which breached the trend line so what what about this particular candle this big candle this big green candle what what exactly happened with this candle well the day opened as a gap down but it went up for the entire day okay it went up for the entire day and second point is is it closed below the trend line right so if it is closing below the trend line it's very obvious that we cannot initiate or we should not initiate a buy trade now if we would have got another red candle somewhere here on the next day okay instead of getting this candle this green candle instead of getting this green candle if we would have got a red candle here then it would have been safe to initiate a sell trade once this particular support line would have been breached somewhere here now from here we would have expected the stock prices to be coming down but did that happen that did not happen right in fact what happened the next day that is on this day is we got a green candle but that was again inside the zone and this candle this particular candle is the candle which actually breached the resistance zone and closed above it right and that happened on the previous to previous session maybe on friday yeah friday yeah so on friday we got the confirmation that okay this particular resistance has been broken that is point number 1 point number 2 is the area of confluence is happening here so that gives a better possibility for the stock prices to go up and on the last trading day it make it made a red candle so we need to wait for some time to see if this guy comes down and takes a support here and then moves up 
If this is the case, you take the entry at this point. Okay? And if it starts moving up directly from here, let's say it started making green candles like this from here. So you can also take an entry once this high is breached. I'm sorry, let me draw it again. If you see that it is making green candles from here itself, then once this high is breached, you can take the entry. Okay, now, that would, be a, that would be your entry. How about your stop loss? It's very obvious. The stop loss will be just below the swing low, somewhere here. Okay, now, setting the target is a bit tricky. Why? Because we always, I always say that there is, uh, whenever you see a swing high being created, that can work as a resistance. So now, here, since we are taking a buy position and we expect the stock price to be going up, on the left hand side of the chart, we actually don't see any uh, swing high being formed because this fall is an absolute downfall without any swings. The best swing that I see is here. That is the first swing high that I see and the next swing high that I see is here. But setting a resistance at such a higher level is not practical. So this is when we bring in the Fibonacci extension. Okay. So just a moment, let me bring in the cursor again. We draw up Fibonacci extension right from a major swing low that is from here to the latest swing high that is here and to the latest swing low that is here. Okay, so this helps us in deciding the target. Now, how does it help? This is how it helps. So we are expecting the stock prices to be going up like this, right? And we also see a trend line here, which might act as a resistance. Now see the 38.2% level of the Fibonacci extension. That is colliding with the trend line here. So this price becomes a best price to set our target. So you can set your target at around 1985. Okay, the exact number is 1986.40. Let's take it as 1985 or even 1980. What is the big deal? You need to be flexible when booking your profits, right? So that is how you decide on your targets, guys, okay? So your entry will be here. Your stop loss will be just below the swing low. Your target, your first target will be here. This will be your second target. If at all it goes up further, third target and fourth target. Forget about all these targets, okay? Let's first meet the first target. If, if, if at all the first target is even met, uh, met then uh, it's, a, it's a very good profit that we'll be booking here. Okay, so that was all about PVR. I hope that is clear. Okay, now let's move on to the second script that is HAL. Okay, HAL. This is the guy who has actually made a new 52 weeks high. Okay, it has made a 52 weeks high in the last session that is here. Okay, now, if you see the chart, uh, what this guy has been doing is, it has been taking a very good support on the area of confluences. So this and this was a good area of confluence because it was a swing high here that was tested earlier and when the script breached it and came down it took a support exactly at that level so these two becomes the area of confluence and as you can see here it consolidated for a while and it flew up the same thing happened here as well right this was a swing high which acted as a resistance initially here it was breached it went up, came down to retest the support level, and this support level was in line with the previous swing high. So this guy and this guy becomes the area of confluence. And, and as I've told many a times in this video itself, whenever we see an area of confluence, there are high chances that the stock will bounce up. And the same happened here. So both the area of confluences have worked really well here. And finally, this guy has made a 52 weeks high, okay? Now, one good thing that I see here 
is that when this resistance was breached so this is a swing high right this is a swing high like this and so obviously it becomes a resistance and that is the green line that i have drawn here okay so post this resistance has breached okay the candle has actually closed above the resistance level the good thing which which i was talking about is it has not moved too much away from the resist uh, it has not moved too much away post the resistance breach okay so let's say for example let me bring in the cards sir let's say the resistance what uh, was at 2352 okay to 2350 it went up till to 2370 let's say so it is just a 20 rupees move that has that it has given in the upward direction post it breached the resistance zone or the resistance line which is a really good thing so if you if we are talking about a 2300 rupees crib and if we see that the movement that has been made is just 20 rupees that is a good deal so that is the reason why we can initiate a buy trade the moment we see a green candle happening here anywhere okay here or here okay and if you are too much patient then you can initiate a buy signal once a candlestick breaches this high as well but as per me you can initiate a buy position anywhere at this level anywhere at this level okay if you see the volumes the volumes in the last two days are really high so that also supports the theory of uh, this particular guy moving up in the upcoming future okay so depending on your personality either you can initiate a buy trade here okay i'm really sorry man my mouse is uh, acting weird so first entry point might be here and the second entry point might be here depending on where you want to take a buy buy entry okay the stop loss will be at this swing low just below the swing low somewhere here put a stop loss here okay again now on the left hand side since we don't have any swing highs so it becomes difficult for us to decide a target so again we need to bring bring in the fibonacci extension okay and uh, we draw the fibonacci extension like this and that helps us in deciding the target right so the first target can be anywhere here okay first target second target third target fourth target okay aim for the first target and uh, aim for the first target and then you can book out your profits okay so i hope uh, you are clear just to draw it the final time either you can take an entry here or you can take the entry here stop loss will be just below the swing low and your first target will be here and this will be the second target third target fourth target okay as simple as that okay so this is what i wanted to share with you guys okay i hope uh, uh, you should be able to go ahead and uh, take up the right entries at the right time okay and please remember the points that i have mentioned here do not deviate from the, those pointers because numbers okay when we are trading the numbers at which we make the entry is very very important okay so those numbers when we make the entry those numbers should be supported by the technicals and that is exactly what i have explained in this video okay so wait for that exact thing to happen on the chart the thing that i have mentioned in this video and if you see that that thing is happening on the chart go ahead and take a buy trade okay and there is nothing to be get to, nothing to get worried about because we have a well defined stop loss and we know where to book our profits so that's it from mine guys i hope everyone of you uh, will be having a very good evening uh, take care of yourselves and i will catch you all later in some time happy trading and thank you all for sticking back and thank you for your time and patience bye bye